guys i'm super super excited in this wonderful video i'm going to show you guys how to create a wise business account formerly called transferwise this is the business account so make sure you pay close attention you can get a us account from this you can get a british account from this you can get a china account from this so make sure you stay to the very end of this video now without further ado guys let's dive right into it welcome back guys this is the channel where future billionaires tuning to learn daily tips on how to make money online how to invest their money and make their money work for them in the long term so you might consider hitting that resource subscribe button below and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you'll be notified each time i drop great and also videos like this that is giving you guys value and content so today's topic i'm going to be showing you guys how to create a wise account not just a wise account this is a wise business account so come to the top right corner and click on register once you click on register to open up another interface whereby you put your email address you know i'll select business account for this purpose right so it's loading up guys so this is where it asks you to put your business email or the email you want to use now keep in mind that this email that you added here is the email that if someone wants to send money to you from wise to wise account is what you're going to send the person so make sure if you are running a business you use your business email so that i can easily recognize you as a client so this account is what i'm creating for a client so if you want me to create an account for you you can also hit me up my contact information is first thing below on the description box so hit me up so i can create an account for you you know maybe finding it difficult to create an account so this is the account the person's email address so this is at gmail.com right so after you have added the email you just simply click on next right so after i'm putting your email address this is the next interface you are going to see whether it's a personal account or business account simply click on business account so here is a business account now you have to select the country you are in so whichever country you are in and your country is accepted you can use it to create so this one is from algeria right I pronounce right. I hope it's Algeria. So let me Algeria is not accepted. So I can find a similar, you know, country. I can say Morocco. Right? It's the same thing. I can create for Morocco. So after that, I put in your country. Click on. The next part is to add your phone number. So you can use any country phone number here. Right? So I want to use USA for this. So let me put a US number here. So this is seven twenty. So you can use virtual number as well. You can use uh, Viking, no Viking. In case you don't have a US number, and you don't want to use a US number for your business or whatever. You can make use of Vike, right? So once you have done that, just click on send verification code and they'll send you an OTP code. All right, so once you get the code, you just have to add the code here. So it's a six digit OTP code. So you just have to add the code here and click on submit. Alright, so the next part is to add your password. Once you have added your password, make sure you include uppercase, lowercase, number, and special characters to make it a strong password. Then click on continue. Right, you can save this, but I don't want to save this for now. Right, it's loading up. So once it loads up, the next thing is to verify your email, you know, and start adding money to your wise account. As simple as that. Then verify your identity. I'll show you guys all that. If you have any questions so far, just leave it on the comment section. Like you know me always, I always respond to my comments because I value you guys out there listening to the sound of my voice.